What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial today I am going to show you on how to play a random animation It is going to be a very easy video to follow so let's get started But first, check out my new Unreal Engine 5 course with Game Dev TV on how to make a full stealth assassin game with blueprints You will learn how to make a whole bunch of different mechanics that will turn you into a pro Unreal game developer This course will supply you with all the resources and assets that you will need So you can check it out right now through the link in the description Alright, so the first thing that we need is, of course, some animations. In my case, I'm going to be just using these three combat animations. Basically, I have a simple, there we go, cannot get hit. Then I just have this one that will just throw someone out there. And then we have just a simple push, okay? Basically, just three random animations just for the, you know, tutorial. Um, so basically, let me go ahead and you select these three animations, right click and create an animation montage. Basically, I will now be able to play these three animation montages at any time from Blueprint, which is very handy. So now, what we're going to do is open up the third person character Blueprint or whatever character Blueprint you're using. And in my case, what I'm going to do is that when I press the left mouse button, I will just play a random animation. So let's add the left mouse button. Great, so now basically we can just use the play and name montage node. And now if we select here, we can see that we can see of the animation montages that basically we created. So if I were to just select an animation montage, I can now just press play and left, you know, click. As you can see now, he will be making that push animation. But of course, this animation has to be random from this three. So how do we do this? Well, what we need to do is basically create an array. An array is basically a list. So what we need to do is create a list of animation montages. So first of all, let's create a anim montage variable array. The quickest way is to just directly right click on this and click promote to variable. As you can see, this will rename it to anim montage. Let's just go ahead and just put anim montages or whatever you want to call it. If you are doing uh, hit reaction animations, call it hit reaction animations. If you're doing for attack animations, Name it attack animations. In my, in my case, it's just generic. All right, so now with that, you can see that this has created a new variable type of an amount that is, which is what we want. But of course, if we compile, we can only select one. That's where the arrays come in. If we now go um, next to the type, we now here the uh, have the type of array. So we can just um, make sure to unplug it. Now change it to be an array. And well, it will appear again. Click on yes, I want to change this. And now, as you can see, when I compile, we now have the option to add multiple, well, animations. And now we can just add the first one, the second one, and the third one. Of course, if you have more, you can just click this add element button and you select it. So now we have this variable, which is a list of all of our montages. So now we can just go ahead and use this very um, useful node, which is the random array item. And then we just randomly get a um, you know animation from this array. And now we can just plug that there. And you will see that now every time that we left click, it will be something different. So now it will be a push. Then it might be a push again because of this random, of course. Then it is, you know, this throwing animation. Then it is this uh, push, uh, sorry, um, punch and knockback. And, you know, it is totally random. So every time we'll be playing a different animation. So that's how you can go ahead and play random animation now make sure because we are playing animation montages that in your animation blueprint in the nm graph you have this slot default because the animation montages will be playing on this slot so you must need this in your animation blueprint but that's a topic for another video i do have videos on those so check that out through uh, my you know channel so that's it guys so if you found this video helpful or real shit you got that video and subscribe to my channel lots of unreal engine 5 videos and throws, so check them out remember that the product files are available in my patreon youtube members um join my discord server check out my new course of game dev tv and now yes i thought i said bye bye